You want a free burning program that's easy to use and has all the features to burn CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, data files, backups, ISO images, erased discs, RIP CDs. Ashampoo Burning Studio Free does all those things. Let's take a look at Ashampoo Burning Studio Free. Hi, Dennis Ray here. If you found a genie's bottle and you got three wishes, what would they be? Me, I would wish for world peace, a million dollars, and of course more subscribers. Please like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Thank you. Ash Shampoo Burning Studio Free is free, but it is not freeware. It is adware. Periodically, when you open up the program, an advertisement will open up, which you will need to close before you can use the program. It is a small price to pay to be able to use a really great burning program. When you open up Ash Shampoo Burning Studio Free, this is the interface you'll see. It's very straightforward. All the features are very easy to navigate and understand, making it simple to use straight out of the box. The first item on the menu is Burn Data. Uh, say we want to burn a new disk. We hit New Disk and we want to add our new data items we go over to the right hit plus then I'll get this window to add files and folders and in this case my data file is on the desktop um, I select desktop data folder double click on that there are the files that I want to add to my data disk so I'll select all those hit add close okay they're all in the window for burning to my data disk I'll hit next I have a disk in the drive and it's saying that uh, the inserted disk is okay for writing I select the speed now in this case the disk will only write in one speed so it will only write in four X speed. Select the number of copies I want and then hit write CD. I wanted to go through some of the settings in this window. In the very top here there is create a disk image or rather an ISO image and in my experience this only works with an operating system install file uh, and also with a DVD. And down the bottom there are these write settings and there's simulate and if you turn this on it simulates the recording process without actually writing any data to the CD to determine if there are any errors. Next is verify and when this is turned on it makes certain that the files on the disk are the same as the data but it does slow down the burning process. Then there is finalize. If you select finalize, you can't add data to the disk. Next is disk at once. Turning this on, the disk is burned in on the go instead of each track individually. This is best for audio disks. Finally, there is cache data. This copies all data to a hard disk image first. Uh, use this for a slower computer system. Back on the interface, update disk. Uh, I have a data disk that I want to add some data to. When I first burnt it, I did not finalize it, so it's good to add data. So I use the same procedure as burning the original data. In audio and music, I can create a audio CD that I can play in my CD player in my car or home player and I can select mp3 music files that I want to burn to a CD so let's select that and then 
hit the plus sign just like with the data file. This is the window I get. My music folder is on my desktop, so I'll select that. There's the folder. Double click on that. These are the mp3 files I want to add to my burn window. So I'll select those. And I got those from the YouTube library, so they are not copyrighted. Add them. Close. There they are. And uh, Ashampoo Burning Studio Free does have a normalization feature, which is really nice. And the default is 89 dB. But I can change that if I want to, so I hit the gear icon. And in this, if I uncheck automatic, I can use the slider to change it all the way up to 92 dB or all the way down to 72 dB. Or if I check it again, went back to the default 89 dB. Okay. And then there are pauses. Uh, default is two seconds between tracks. I can change that too. And go in here and I select this. And then there'll be no pauses between tracks. And I can hit OK or back to two seconds between tracks. Next. And then I have a disk in the drive and then there are these right settings just these two and then I can select the speed number of copies and write CD when it's done burning I'll have a CD that has tracks that play at the same volume and will work in any CD player back to audio music I want to create a mp3 or a WMA disk and I hit that and in the output format I can select either mp3 or WMA in the down arrow to uh, choose which format I want my music file to be converted to and then I can select which bitrate I want it to be either uh, any of these numbers uh, 192 is good 320 is great, but the higher the bit rate is, the larger the file is. And I can choose to have the volume normalized, just like before. The default is 89 dB. I can turn that off and on, just like before. And I can hit next and select the music files and hit next and follow all the steps just like before. Of course when you burn a disc like this make sure your player will play mp3 or Windows Media Audio. Then there is copy music files to a disc. When you have music files for example mp3 files that don't need to be converted that you want to burn to a disc. Next in audio and music is RIP Audio CD. And uh, I burned those same pieces of music that I got from the YouTube audio library onto a CD. And uh, I put them in my drive. And let's take a look at the function of ripping those. And you can see that uh, it has track one through five. And next, one through five. It doesn't actually have any information as far as album or artist names on those. But uh, if I had a uh, actual commercial CD, it probably would have that information. And next, rip. And it starts the process of ripping it. And we'll come back to this when it's completed. Okay, it finished. 
So we'll go to my music file and check it out and see how it sounds. Okay, here are the tracks, so we'll play a little bit of those and see how they sound. You know, not too bad. And we have all these other great features. Uh, burn a DVD from a folder. Copy a disk. Burn a file from an ISO image or create an ISO image, which we've covered before. Create a backup file. Restore files. Erase writable disks, open a previous project, and all these other items. This is the site where you get a shampoo burning studio free, and I'll put a link for this in the description below. There's quite a bit of information about the program. To download it, you just hit this bar. That was Hash Shampoo Burning Studio Free, a really great burning program. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment below. Subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. See you!